Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You are watching Oxy Vlogs and before I start my today's topic, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll get a notification when I post my new video. Moving to Dubai is the most popular topic on my channel and many of you have been asking me about how to move to Dubai with a pet. Is it allowed to stay with a pet in the apartment? Are there any special laws and policies? Uh, personally, I don't have any pets in Dubai, so today I will share with you the information that I managed to find out from the experienced people. The population in Dubai is represented by more than 200 nationalities and uh, due to some religious beliefs, some people think that dogs are unclean. Uh, that's why many apartments have a no pet policy. Uh, the weather in Dubai is not ideal, it gets extremely hot during the, uh, during the summer and uh, it's quite challenging to walk and exercise your dog and uh, most of the public parks will not allow pets here as well. If you're still planning to come to Dubai and bring your pet with you, uh, you need to consider the following things. If your company provides you with an accommodation, it, uh, most probably it will be a furnished apartment, which doesn't allow pets. Uh, unlike most uh, Western countries, there are only few areas where you can exercise your dog, unless you live in a community with villas. So what documents you need to have to bring your pet to Dubai? First of all, a good health certificate. Uh, it's a letter by your veterinarian in your home country stated that your pet is in good health condition and able to travel. This letter has to be signed and stamped on the official letterhead and endorsed by the veterinarian of the government in your home country. Uh, you should know that this certificate is valid for one month from the date of issue. The document number two is a vaccination certificate. This certificate is issued by your veterinarian, signed and dated, showing all vaccinations and dates. A valid rabies vaccination is the only vaccination mandatory for an issuance of an import permit. All dogs over the age of four months uh, should be um, vaccinated no less than one month and no more than one year before arrival to Dubai. Next, you need to have a microchip number. Uh, all pets uh, have to be administered a microchip and the microchip number should be stated on all documentation. And the last document is the copy of the owner's passport. Then all these documents have to be faxed to the Human Resources Department uh, at least three weeks prior to your pet's arrival in the country. And once all documents are received, the Ministry, uh, the Human Resources Department will forward them to the Ministry of Agriculture uh, for processing and review. And if everything is fine, they will issue an import permit. The permit uh, will be valid for six months and don't forget to bring the original documents with you when you come to Dubai. So how can you bring your pet to the UAE? There are two options. Option number one is to do it yourself. Uh, you have to take care of all the formalities, uh, make the travel arrangements, do all the paperwork and the most important, you need to know all the details and the law involving bringing your pet into the country because you want to avoid stress for you and your pet. The option number two is to use the professional pet relocation service. There are many companies around the world that provide the type of service. They take care of all the formalities, you just need to pay a fee for that. Uh, if you decide to go for an option number two, make sure that the company is certified because you don't want to have any issues with the relocation and you don't want anything uh, to happen to your uh, pet. And uh, I will leave the link in the description below to the website where you can find the list of certified companies around the world. So guys, I believe I answered many of your questions. If, uh, let me know your feedback in the comments below. If you find this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you will not miss my next video. And thank you for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.